Can you keep the secret then? For anyone who has ever owned a teddy bear, or wished to, Simon always liked snow at Christmas. Did we have this much snow last year? I don't think so. But the year before that, now that was a very snowy Christmas. And what a Christmas to remember. It all began, hmm, let's see. Ah, yes, it all began with Sally's letter. By our good friends at McLaren's Toy Store. Wow! A Space Raider Destructor Helmet! I hope I get one of those. Oh, neat! A red laser phaser! Mom said no more guns. He was trapped on the planet Mars. Let's listen as his trusty friend... What are you doing? None of your beeswax! Let me see! Mom, tell Simon to stop! Mom! It was life as usual in the house. Sally and Simon were busy running around while I was busy being Teddy. Which is sometimes hard to do. You see, we Teddy Bears can come to life. Slurp's always trying to make me go un-Teddy. But it takes more than a game of fetch, shake, and toss to do it. Because whatever else happens, a teddy bear must never, ever let a people see it move. That's the teddy bear rule. Slurp! You leave Ben alone. You're always munching on Ben. Did that mean Slurp hurt you? There you go. Slurp! What's got into Slurp? I don't know. Simon, it's private! Just between me and Santa. You don't still believe in... What? Ah, forget it. There. To Santa Claus, North Pole. And just in case he gets hungry for one of Mom's special Christmas cookies. <laughs> Can you keep a secret, Ben? I've written Santa Claus asking him for one special gift this Christmas. No, that's not it. I've asked Santa to bring me a teddy bear of my very own. Simon says you can be my bear, but I think he still needs you. Now remember, I'm counting on you to keep my secret. Hmm, another teddy in the house? <laughs> oh no, not again. Huh? Slurp! Put that down, you oversized vacuum cleaner! That's not for you! That's Sally's letter to Santa! Let's look at our snowman! Yeah! 
What am I going to do? I've got to rescue Sally's letter. Now's my chance to rescue Sally's letter. Sally is dreaming about a teddy bear for Christmas, and you've chewed up her letter to Santa. How's a wish supposed to come true if Santa doesn't know what to bring? There's only one more day until Christmas. I've got to find Santa and tell him what's happened. I bet you a nickel Sally's letter will tell me where to look. There. That's one puzzle solved. Oh, slurp. I forgot. Teddy bears can't read. They can only be read, too. Oh, I'll never find Santa this way. Better hide these. Sally would be so upset. Now what do I do? Oh, great. Just great. Slurp! Shame on you! You leave Ben alone. Poor Ben. You can look all you want, Simon, but you won't find any presents until Santa brings them. Oh yeah? Then how come Mom bought us presents at McLaren's yesterday? Gee, I don't know. It's only the most amazing toy store in the world! Maybe Mom's helping Santa out this year. You know how busy he can get. That's it! I can help Santa out by making Sally's wish come true. All I have to do is go to a Clarence toy store and find a teddy bear for Sally. <laughs> I hope this works. There are so many people in this wide world, I'm going to have to be pretty careful not to get caught un-teddy. Well, here goes. Boy, outside's much bigger than inside. Well, I won't find McLaren's toy store by standing around. You want to go for a ride?
Simon was right. The Clarence really is a magical place. But they seem to have everything except teddy bears. Second floor. Colorful kites, crayons and crafts, cotton candy just for laughs. Third floor. Robots and rockets, dressed up dolls, toy trains and trumpets and bright bouncing balls. Fourth floor. Drums and dragons and monsters galore, kitty cars, kazoos and much, much more. Fifth floor. Wagons and wind-ups, whistles and whatnots, footballs and flippers, figure skates and stickers, puppets and players, and lovable, huggable teddy bears. Teddy bears? Hey, little fella, did you fall down? There you go. Now everyone can see you. Oh no, I'm trapped. Finding Sally a new teddy bear in time for Christmas is more difficult than I thought. I've got to get down from here. But with all these people... Ah! Okay. Now which way to teddy... Ah! Phew. Santa. I can tell him Sally's message myself. And then he'll fix everything. Oops, what am I thinking? Hey, that elf looks just like someone I know. Betty, the nice girl who babysits Simon and Sally. Maybe that's just the way it is with elves. They all look like someone you know. Hey, you're not supposed to be moving. And you're not supposed to talk either. Well, neither are you. Oh, yeah. Gee, I never talked before. Hey, everyone! I can talk! Shh! Welcome, shoppers. Would you like that gift wrapped? Oh, no! You can speak to the manager. Hmm, imagine that. A newfangled talking bear. McLaren's Toy Store will be closing in five minutes. Thank you for shopping at McLaren's and have a happy holiday. Don't you know the teddy bear rules? What if we all started talking and moving about? Boy, no one would ever trust a teddy to keep a secret again. Thank you for shopping at McLaren's and have a happy holiday. Hey, quit that. Gosh, I'd better get you out of here. I don't know how I know it, but you're just the right bear for a friend of mine. By the way, my name's Ben. Benjamin Bear. What's your name? Gee, I don't know. But then I don't know why I can walk and talk either. <laughs> That's because you're needed. You just went teddy for the very first time. <laughs> You're no dummy. No, silly. I'm a teddy bear. McLaren's Toy Store is now closing. Thank you for shopping McLaren's. Oh, we've got to get out of here. Now. What? Leave the toy store? You never said anything about leaving the toy store. Oh, no. Listen, there are more wonderful things outside this store than you can imagine. And besides, you're needed now. Sally is counting on you to be there. It's... it's your responsibility as a teddy bear. Who's Sally? Your best friend, only you don't know it yet. Now just follow me and you'll be fine. But this is my home. Gone. You've got to listen to me. A people is depending on you. You sure are a nice bear, Ben. But I'm not leaving my home. There's a new home just waiting for you. 
full of... <laughs> Whoa! What was that? That makes me feel funny inside. Make it stop, Ben. <laughs> Are you lost? I'm sure your mommy will be here soon. Don't cry. Ricky, there you are. Oh, thank goodness. Here's Teda. Why don't you hold her? Everything's going to be all right now. You see, that's what teddy bears do best. They help people feel better. They love people and are loved right back. I'd sure like to know what that feels like. Stick with me and you'll soon find out for yourself. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. I'm off to be useful and loved right back. Hurry up. It's past closing time. This way. We must get out before... We're locked in! No, it isn't. Hey! Let me down! <laughs> you look pretty funny, Ben! <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, Ben! Oh. 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 Fun? Fun? <sighs> Sally's gonna be so disappointed if you're not under that Christmas tree tomorrow morning. Maybe she'll stop believing in Santa, like Simon. Gee, teddy bears sure do have lots of responsibilities. Yes, and that's why they never give up. Well, you two are leaving it a bit late. Yeah, I'm running a little behind schedule. Seems like there are more children every year. Thank goodness for Betty's help. Hey, did you hear that? That elf is Betty, the babysitter. So perhaps that's not really Santa. Only a kind man helping him out. Just like you. I guess you'll be heading home then. Well, not quite yet. I still have presents to deliver. Quick, get in. I'd be happy to help deliver them. Thanks, but I have to deliver these myself. Which reminds me, here's something for you, Joe. Merry Christmas. Yes, Merry Christmas, Mr. Jones. Thanks. Uh, thanks very much. A and a Merry Christmas to you both. Well, I'll be... Captain Ray Comics. He was my hero when I was a kid. But how did he know? It's a perfect evening. All we need now is for it to snow. I love snow at Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Merry Christmas! Well, goodbye. It's been fun working with you. You hurry on now. I bet there are some wonderful presents waiting for you at home. Do you really think so? Oh, I don't doubt it at all. Good night, Betty. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, you guys. Huh? He saw us. Like he knew all along. It's snowing. It's wonderful! Whee! <laughs> when do I get a name? 
as soon as you meet Sally tomorrow morning. Thanks for coming to find me, Ben. You were right. I couldn't have imagined this. <laughs> Swerve. Ben! Swerve! I'm a big teddy bear flop. I'm supposed to make things better. But because of me, a little teddy bear is gone forever. And Sally's Christmas wish can never come true. I think I'll stay teddy forever. What was that? <sighs> Nothing. I hope Christmas never comes. Ho, ho, ho! Simon, wake up! It's Christmas! Oh, boy! I can't watch. <laughs> Just what I wanted! Where's my present? This is it! Poor Sally! Oh, he's just what I wanted! Huh? He's beautiful! I love him! Oh! Ben? Look, Ben! A teddy bear of my very own! See? I think I'll call him Wally. Wally, meet Ben. I'm sure you'll be friends. Hiya, Ben. It's good to be home. Oh, Wally? But how? To Sally, love Santa. <laughs> and Ben. Ben, what you doing? Hmm. Just remembering. Oh. Merry Christmas, Ben. Merry Christmas, Wally. is a really special kind of toy. Something a little different to everyone. Someone to cuddle up with on a rainy day. Someone who's there to share your happiest moments. Or to keep you company when things aren't going very well. Someone who always listens and never complains when you make a mistake. <gasps> Did you know that there is one day, each year, when all the stars in the nighttime sky are just right, that something magical happens? For that one day, children everywhere go without their teddies and never even notice. But on this one particular day, someone did notice.
back before you've even noticed that I'm gone. I promise. Oh, mustn't forget these. Wow, what a perfect day. Oh no, not rain. <laughs> it's just me. Wally, what are you doing up there? Well, after all that tea was spilt on me at the tea party, Sally figured I needed a bath. I'm still a little wet behind the ears. Well, we'll soon change that. But first, we've got to get you down from there. It's okay, Ben. I can handle this myself. All I have to do is take these off. Wally, no! Whoa! Oh. Uh, sorry, Ben. Yeah, that's all right, Wally. I know you're a little excited. Heck, I remember my first time. I was so excited I could have run all the way. Well, when I think of it now, I bet wow. I was a hand for the bear that took me. You should have seen the look on his face. Ow! Wally, you're not listening to me. You know the teddy bear's first rule, don't you? Sure. The first rule to being a good teddy bear is... always be a good listener. That's right. It's most important for teddy bears to be good listeners. I'm sorry, Ben. It won't happen again. I'll do enough listening to make any teddy bear proud. This is the first time I've ever had to take a younger bear with me, and I've got to make sure you arrive safely. Come on, let's go! Oopsie daisy. Oh boy, my very first teddy bear's picnic! Yahoo! It's a pretty big world out there. Not like in the playroom. There'll be lots of things that you've never seen before. <laughs> but we have to be careful that no one sees us. Oh, I'll be real careful, Ben. You see, being a good teddy bear means you have to follow... Well certain rules. The paying attention is important, but so are all the others. And besides just knowing the rules, a teddy bear has to know when to use them. Uh-oh, here comes the milkman. Whoa. Quickly, Wally, the second rule to being a good teddy bear. The second rule to being a good teddy bear is never, ever let a people see you move. Right, Ben? Wally, you've got to go Teddy awfully fast when people pop up. I know, Ben. But why? Well, if they see us move, we won't be able to do our jobs. Oh, I guess that would be serious. Yes, very serious. Why? Why? Because no one would tell us their problems or cry on us when they felt bad. And who would share their secrets with us if they thought we'd spread them around? Now, Bear is at his best when he's sitting still just listening. Okay, quickly. Just listening, huh? Like him? He doesn't look like a teddy bear, but he sure seems to be a good listener. Yeah, I guess he's heard a few stories in his time. <laughs> hey, look at all the birds. Hi, all you birds. My name's Wally, and you know what? I'm going to the teddy bear's picnic. Wally, what's rule number three? Oh, that's easy. Never tell anyone about... Never tell anyone about the teddy bear's picnic. Sorry, Ben. Well, okay. But if we keep going at this rate, we'll never get to the picnic. Remember, we have to be back by nightfall. Uh, Ben, is it very far to the picnic? Yeah, well, kind of far. Are we going to walk all the way? No, nope. I know a shortcut. A shortcut? Great, oh boy, a shortcut! 
What's a shortcut? This kid is a shortcut. Gee, a shortcut looks just like a piece of paper. Uh-oh, someone's coming. Wally, quick! <laughs> What's this? Looks like some kid couldn't reach the mailbox. Oh, it's dark in here. Don't worry, old pal. I'm right here. But I like the dark. What's the picnic like? Will there be any bears my age? Yep, bears from everywhere come to play games, tell stories, sing songs, or meet all the new bears, like you. Wow! Look at all the flowers! Will there be any flowers at the picnic? There'll be everything a teddy bear could ever want at the picnic. Teddy fast enough, Ben? You are fast, Wally. The fastest yet. Ugh. Now remember this spot. We've got to get back here before sunset. Otherwise, we'll never make it back in time. Ugh. Gee, Ben. I sure am glad you're showing me the way to the picnic. I'd never have found it on my own. Sure you would, Wally. Every teddy bear in the world can find the picnic. It's like a feeling you get. Practically pulls you to the picnic. Oh yeah, I think I can feel it. Does it sort of make your head spin? No, it's just a feeling like opening your presents on your birthday. Sort of makes you all warm inside. Yeah, yeah, I can feel it. It's this way. It's real close! Yeah! Oh dear. <laughs> ah! Yippee! Let me out of here! Are you all right, Wally? I guess so. I just need a little more practice to get this feeling thing. That was scary. Ah, they're just a bunch of harmless farm animals, Wally. Nothing to be afraid of. Well, I didn't know. I'm just a kid. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Ben, it's just a harmless old bullfrog. <laughs> okay, enough fooling around. Let's get going. Why, when I was a young bear, all we could think about was the teddy bear's picnic. We just couldn't wait, and it just seemed like it never come. We'd ask, is it time yet? Ugh. Come on, Wally. Wally? Wally, if you don't stop dawdling, we'll never get there on time. Now let's keep moving. Whoa. Oh. 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 Huh? <laughs> A teddy bear? Oh. What are you doing here? Are you lost? Mm, you're nice. But you're not my teddy bear. Oh, oh, I wish I could find him. He's lost, and so am I. <laughs> what am I going to do? I want my teddy bear. going to do, Mr. Bear? Oh, I've never been this far into the woods before. 
do find Teddy, I'll never find my way back to the farm. Oh, I want my teddy bear. I want dog. <laughs> <clears throat> um, hi. <gasps> I'm Wally, and I know where your teddy bear is. You're alive. Oh. Oh, yeah, and so's Ben. He's just afraid to move right now because he's gone teddy. Gone teddy? Uh-huh. That's what a teddy bear usually does when a people is around. All teddy bears? Even mine? Yep. And you know where he is? Yeah, he's at the teddy bear's picnic. Wally, what are you doing? You're not supposed to tell anyone about the teddy bear's picnic. I thought we went over that. Oh, yeah. Rule number three. Yes, well, how do you do? I'm Benjamin Bear. Hello, Benjamin. I'm Amanda. Is it true? Is my bear really at a picnic? Yes, well, at a picnic no one is supposed to know about except bears. You don't have to worry, Amanda. He'll come home right after the picnic. He'll be there before bedtime. But I'm lost. Oh, yeah. Well, Amanda, you can come to the picnic with us, and we'll find him together. I can? Hooray, hooray, hooray! We're going to the Teddy Bear's picnic! Hooray! Wally, wait a minute. She can't go. She can't? I can't? No, she can't. The picnic is only for bears. There have never been people there, ever. You know what would happen, Wally, if we took a people? I guess there would be a little less cake for some of us. It's not that, Wally. Think about it. Every single bear will freeze and go teddy if they see a... A people? Oh, yeah. <sighs> then we won't take a people. Huh? Well, how do I look? She looks just like a teddy bear, doesn't she, Ben? Well... Almost. There. Now she looks like a real teddy bear. Well, she sure doesn't look like a people. Let's go. The picnic is this way. I can feel it. Yeah, I've got a feeling too. So what does your bear look like, Amanda? Well, he's kind of cute and cuddly. And he's got button eyes and a round little nose. And his name is Doc. Oh, boy. Hey, I can feel it! The picnic's just up ahead! If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you'd better go in disguise. For every bell that ever there was, we'll gather bell for good because today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic, picnic, picnic time for teddy bears. The little teddy bears are having a lovely time today. Watch them. Oh no. oh, no! 
It's a girl. <gasps> That's oh, bear. Oh, who brought her? It's a, it's a disguise. <laughs> It's okay, Amanda. They're just being good teddies. I knew this would happen. Molly, I should have never let you talk me into this. This is all my fault. How could I have been so stupid? Oh, stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, I've ruined the teddy bear's picnic. And now I'll never find Doc. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've ruined the teddy bear's picnic. And now I'll never find Doc or my way home. <laughs> Wait! Don't go! Listen, all you bears. This is very important. You see, Wally here, he means well, but he's just a little overenthusiastic. And we met this girl in the forest, and, well, she had lost her bear, and she's lost too, so uh, what could we do? Oh, it's no use. I'll never find my bear. Don't give up, Amanda. They're just confused. Thank you for trying to help, Wally. I'm sorry I ruined your picnic. Oh. You haven't <laughs> ruined it, Amanda. Oh. Don't give up. I'm sure he's here somewhere. Listen, everyone, it's okay to move. Please, just this once. Don't be such good listeners. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Teddy bears aren't supposed to make children cry. We're supposed to comfort them, aren't we? Amanda's bear, are you out there? <laughs> oh, it's no use. I'll never find him. Way to go, buddy. We did it. Thanks, Wally. Thank you, Benjamin. And all of you? I'm sorry I ruined your picnic. I didn't mean to, but I love my teddy bear. And I had to find him. You shouldn't stop the picnic just because I'm here. I promise I won't say a word to anyone. Well, there is one exception. very, very much. Heck, it was nothing. After all, what are bears for? Well, we better be going. Hmm, that was the best picnic I've ever been to. I'm sure glad Amanda found her bear. It was pretty scary there for a while. Oh, I knew everything would work out. I never doubted it for a minute. But Ben... Yes, Wally? Uh, thanks, Ben. Ah, that's okay. I'll see you tomorrow at tea. Come on, kids, off to bed. But, Dad, I can't find Wally. Well, where did you see him last? Yesterday. We had tea, and then I gave him a bath, and then I put him on the clothesline to dry. Well, he's probably still there. Dad, 
Will you get them for me? All right, sweetheart. Thank you.